The Dolan fire moved to Fort Hunter Liggett, where teams are still on the lookout for spot fires. It's the bad air quality, though, that's been a challenge for them. KIUN's Jocelyn Ortega reports from the military base, where they now have turned to virtual training exercises. The soldiers are trying to continue with their training, but they did have to make some changes here to make sure that everyone was safe and healthy. Right now, officials on site say the air quality is just below 100 AQI. Anything over that level is considered unhealthy. So all training, except with firearms, is moving indoors or been delayed due to the smoky air. Medical resources are on site and N95 masks are given out for protection, but protecting from smoke inhalation remains a concern. It's going to be a risk. Uh, we monitor it daily, um, uh, multiple times a day. The delays caused by the Dolan fire only add to the challenges they already have with training with 1,000 soldiers during a pandemic. We only have so much time, especially in the Army Reserve, to train our soldiers. So these training opportunities are few and far between. But Commanding General Buzza says they are still trying to make the most of their resources. Now this is one of the only two virtual training rooms that's available in the whole Army Reserve to help the soldiers keep on top of their game, regardless of the air quality outside. I'm told these simulators will now be a standard form of practice at the base. Their main objective, finish off training strong while staying safe from the fires and the smoke. And we can train to Army standards and we can keep our soldiers ready to answer the call when the nation needs them. Like towns and other communities, they do have an evacuation and relocation plan in place if the Dolan fire were to spread. And they are prepared to lend a hand in the fight against the fire if need be. The officials here say the air quality looks like it has improved today and that if the air quality stays below 100 AQI, they might resume outdoor training as soon as tomorrow with precautions taken. In Fort Hunter Liggett, Jocelyn Ortega, KION News Channel 546.